In today's Canva tutorial, I'm gonna share how to create a recipe card because I bet you are starting to think about quick and simple holiday gifts to whip up in the kitchen. Let's get started. I'm just gonna type in recipe and click on the suggested recipe card. Some are specific to Canva Pro members and some are free. We are going to look at this recipe card. We're gonna do the deconstruction first, and then we'll talk about how to add your own spin to it. And this is what I created using that same template. It looks a little bit different because I changed a couple of things. The first thing you need to know is that the background color is FAF8F6. You could easily change the background color. The background image is called Cherries. What I'm gonna do is leave this brand information in the description below. The next thing is rectangles. Click an R on your keyboard, it will make a rectangle and you can size them to the varying shapes that you need for your recipe card. Next up are fonts. The fonts are free. And the final thing that you need for a recipe card are lines and all you have to do is click L on your keyboard and then change the line weight to whatever it is that you would like. The ones here at the bottom are a one line weight and the ones here at the top are a two line weight. And here is the final product for that template. One thing you might wanna do is change the background. You might want to add something Christmassy. You can click on an image, right click, replace background. If you have a free account, you can go to more and click Pixabay and type in candy cane or whatever you would like. What if you don't want something that's Christmas holiday related? You can do something in the kitchen instead. You can upload your own picture in the upload tab and click upload media. You can change everything by clicking on the text boxes and changing it to no bake cookies. You can change it to your kitchen name. If you don't have a website or don't want to put one on there, you can just remove it and then take these and make them a little bit larger. If there's a spot that doesn't have a text box and all you need to do is click T on your keyboard and it will give you one, okay? And then you can size it by grabbing the little white circle and sizing it to your heart's content. You can yield, time, temp, whatever you need to put, ingredients. So let's say you don't need to fill up this whole ingredients box list. You just shrink it up to what you do need and you can create a brand new box by clicking the duplication key and then resizing this. You can grab the ingredients, duplicate that, bring it here and change the name to whatever you want. Helpful tips. A helpful tip for lines is to create a brand new text box for each line. If the T on your keyboard or duplication doesn't work, you can always go to your text tab and click add a subheading. You would just need to resize it appropriately. Let's take a look at this one I created called No Bake Cookies and Canvas Kitchen. Recipe name, chocolate, peanut butter, no bake cookies. This is in one text box. I just sized it appropriately and left spaces in between so that whoever receives it can easily read it. If you wanna know a little more about these chocolate, peanut butter, no bake cookies, they are going to be on the other channel I'm gonna print this off in my printer and I do not believe that this is the right size. If you do not have Canva Pro, then what you would just need to do is click the bottom thing and get a page like this 
and control C or command C. Go eight and a half inches by 11, create a new design, and then I could paste it there. As you see, I'm going to need to rework it a little bit. That's how you can resize it if you do not have Canva Pro, but I have Canva Pro. So what I'm gonna do is click resize and change it to eight and a half by 11 inches. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and resize instead of just resize. I actually want to adjust a few things. Maybe I'll just make the boxes bigger here. Group position center. I think that looks good. I do want to lock this so that I can grab these and move them over so everything looks great. I need to check something. Go to File, Show Print Bleed. Amazingly enough, it is right. But if it weren't, what I would just do is increase the size a little bit, or I could even move this image a little bit like that. Let's click Download PDF Standard. It's only one page, so download. You're gonna open it up and click print. I'm printing. It looks great. Print. This is my massive LaserJet Pro CM1415 FNW Color laser printer. Oh, here we go. We'll see how it looks. Okay. It actually looks pretty good. My paper's not exactly eight and a half by 11. So I could cut this off or shrink it, but I think it looks awesome. I did put it on the back of some Christmas card stock. I love it. I think it looks great. And let's get back to the computer. What did you think about that fun Canva tutorial? And if you want to see these chocolate peanut butter no-bake cookies being made, then check out the video in the description. Thanks so much for learning with the Canva Classroom. If you like this tutorial and want to see more like it, then watch one of these two tutorials right now. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future lessons. See you next time. Bye.